This next presentation is the last one was sort of a historical thing with SST. This is meant to be a fun presentation. Uh, so please take it as that. I've, I've seen some, some of the HP, some of the WP43 pre discussions which have gotten quite heated about which key ought to go where and that kind of stuff. And um, uh, yes, and so uh, I'm trying to avoid that as we go through this. So the, 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 this is a what if, I don't know if you guys remember the HP uh, marketing campaign, what if, well this is a what if there was another model in the Voyager series. Uh, the goal would be to create a new Voyager format calculator that would follow previously proven interesting function sets and it would also be likely that this Voyager model would have less volume than the 12, the 15, and the 16. So let's acknowledge that up front and say so there would be a drive to maximize the leverage of, of the existing hardware set uh, as much as possible. Okay, so what's, this is a, a set of calculators. Uh, the, that, um, the 91 is, is, the, is the printing calculator. The 12 C's underneath it, the 27 uh, is actually in the, in the bottom right. That, that's one of my favorite calculators from, from way back. Um, my senior year, uh, I, I took an, what we call an engineer in training exam. It was the first part of becoming a, a professional engineer. It's a two-day exam on all sorts of different courses, statics, electronics, uh, engineering econ, statistics, and that kind of stuff. You are allowed to take in either a slide rule or one non-programmable calculator. So my HP 65 was off limits. So I searched around and found somebody that had a 27 so that I could have both the trig functions and the, and the scientific functions and the business functions that you needed for the engineering econ so that I didn't have to look up the answers in the back, of the, the ta didn't have to use the lookup tables in the back of the, of the books. You're allowed as many books as you want. So 27's have been a favorite. Um, all, the, the thing that the 27 and the 91 have in common is, is they have both stats and they, they have both um, scientific and the business functions. The HP calculators up in the top, that some of the newer models also have the, the trig functions and the business functions. Okay, that's new. Oh, okay. No, one, the, the keys are doing different things now, Mark. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, previously proven interesting function sets. I've just tried to give you a justification that the, the things on the top of that list would be trig and statistics. Uh, it would, what would we do to maximize the leverage? Well, I would suggest you don't want to make any electronics or display changes, and you don't want to change the keys on the calculator. Uh, and uh, we're going to assume it's okay to change the keyboard overlay, and the additional firmware will fit. Now that last one's a stretch, but right now there's actually we know there's a significant amount of extra flash space in in the some of the, le the more recent calculators. Okay, let's start with a 12. It's an interesting one to start with. Uh, so again, we don't change the keys. We're not going to change the electronics. We're only going to change the overlay of the keyboard. Okay, here is a proposed DM17. Okay, it has all of the 12's functionality. It has the 21 S is probability distribution, and, and the, the terrible thing about the, tw the, the 21 is a great statistics calculator, but the terrible thing about the 21 is it is algebraic only. Okay, so it has all the 21 probability distributions, uh, and it has all of the 12 except F number, which those of you, the 12 users, do you remember what F number did? F number, F3 set, the, set the decimal to three decimal places. Okay, so it, 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 you lose that functionality, but you replace it with a fixed science uh, or engineering mode 
key on, on the calculator. All of the labels on this calculator are on previous HP calculators except the FSE and DRG. And that's a three-way toggle of fixed science engineering or degrees, radiance, grad. All of, the other, all of the other labels are standard labels that have been on a previous HP calculator. Now, uh, if you bought into that as, as a potential calculator, I want to uh, take you a step further and say, well, what are some, some additional things you can do with the same calculator? The, the first is you could, you know, as an easy one, instead of doing n factorial as integers, you could make that do x factorial. Leave the n there, but a little confusing, but it, it's still a, it's a factorial, and that, that extends the capability of the calculator. The next is, is to use this row of clear keys in a slightly different way. So, if you recall financial, you could sequentially display the, with a label, which the, the um, science, Swiss Micros has already got an alphanumeric display. You could display the label and then the value of the registers, the science registers. So it's a way to, to scoot through. Up in the corner, it mentions, well, in this mode, this review mode, you use the plus to speed up the review or a minus to slow it down. You can use run stop to start or stop the, the sequential display, or you could use the on key to interrupt the display. But this is a way that you could automatically step through the, the um, financial registers. Similarly, you could recall sum and display the different 12C summation registers, again with their labels. Now, it turns out that it, those of you that have a more recent HP calculator will know that they already do something like this in that you can, it will display like the, the financial uh, uh, register label before it displays its value. Okay, so again, this capability is already sort of out there, but it's not there. And these would be things that you could do to a 12, okay, to make the 12 more useful to, to 12 users. You could also recall registers. Registers in the 12, okay, uh, there's actually with the new versions of the 12, they go even farther, but they're registers and they are, depending upon the, how you're using your calculator, they're also cash flows. So you could display it, but if, if, if you've used the 12 and tried to do cash flows with it, you're, you're, you will lose track of where, which cash flows are where fairly easily if you're talking about 20 cash flows in 20 different registers on, on a 12. This will allow you to, to print it out and, and see what it looks like. Uh, recall prefix is a little strange, but it's a stretch, but uh, it would display the stack. Very similar to what, like the, the printing calculators, the 97, the 91, 92 have a print stack. This would display the stack. And recall program could display the program. Uh, st again, step through the program memory. Okay. Now, as you, as you do the program, the other thing that you can do is, is and well, I've got to go back. The other thing that you could do is, is you could use uh, the alphanumeric display on the 12, the Swiss Micros 12, for instance, to display when you're in program mode, not the numbers, but the, the actual uh, uh, key labels. So these are things that you could do without changing the keys, the display, the hardware, other than, so you have to change software which is a big deal, okay, but not much else on the, on the product. Just a really picky point, so mm -hmm. on the recall bit for the financial ones, you've got the periods per year and the 360, 365 day mode that mm -hmm. need to be added to the list as well to rotate through. That would be actually, you could just add it as something that the mode did, okay. right. It didn't re wouldn't require a key change. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just add to your list on the on the slide. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, 
uh, first of all, a little history. Uh, thank you to Gene Wright. Uh, Gene mentioned that uh, the HHC folks actually proposed to Hewlett Packard to do something similar to this uh, back in 2006. Uh, they said, you know, it would be really nice to have uh, a financial calculator that did some of the scientific functions. And this is the calculator they proposed back in 2006 to HP management. Uh, it's different. Uh, it, uh, it did not, it changed keys. Uh, it changed keys and it changed uh, labels. But, and they chose not to add statistics, but instead they added programming functions. They added go, sub, and return. And uh, additional uh, conditional checks. So, uh, you all might be thinking, well, what happened to this proposal? Okay, well, HP decided not to do uh, a new version, a new Voyager version, but they did do, you know, all those new calculators I, I mentioned that had statistics, not statistics, but trig and financials. Uh, those happened after this proposal. So uh, there was an influence. So the, so the users, you know, you guys, we made a difference in terms of the HP product definitions on those new calculators. Now, I uh, was told originally, the original plan was HP was gonna be here. And I felt somewhat um, nervous about getting up in front of HP representatives and saying, well, let's do this all on Swiss Micros. So this is uh, a version you know, called the HP 17C. HP could do this as well. If you remember from my SST presentation, both the HP and the uh, Swiss Micros are currently using programmable devices. They're currently not using all of the capability of those devices. The 15 that uh, was mentioned by Klaus is actually going to use the same, hard as he mentioned, it's gonna use the same hardware as the 12. Uh, so H HP could do this product as well if they were interested. Now, uh, okay, I will, I will apologize for this up front. I know all of us as users like RPN. It's acknowledged that it's more efficient and whatnot. But we could also do a version of this 12 with, without changing any, anything I've talked to you about that, that had an algebraic mode as well. And so... Rather than force users to be RPN or algebraic, this would do all the scientific stuff that we talked about, the statistical distributions, and it would have an algebraic mode. Chuck, without changing a key. You would yep. be forcing them to just be RPN only. Well, the, the, the problem, and this is what HP fought all the way back to when I worked on the calculators, is if you force people to make a choice, Okay, you're, you're forcing them to, to go one way or another. If you give them both, okay, they can use whichever they're comfortable with. You're not, you're not denying half the users that would prefer algebraic, the algebraic, just because it's inferior. Okay, and the other thing to remember is, is if you remember all the, back to, to videotapes, you had VHS and beta. Beta was a clearly superior technical solution that lost in the marketplace. VHS won by, in terms of distribution. So if you say, well, you only can use v, uh, beta because it's better, you're gonna lose three quarters of the market. So that you, have to be, you have to take these business practicalities in, into, uh, into account. But that doesn't mean you do the, the opposite thing, which is get rid of RPN. Uh, <laughs> which we've, do, we've done on cal some calculators. And that, that, I, that I, I would rather give both to, the, to folks so that they can be productive if they want to be. Do you have a, your hand up? Yes, I was wondering, you say propose this to HP. Uh, this now probably means propose it to Moravia. And they were talking, well, uh, he did talk about something in the future. 
we should throw this at them as soon as possible so that it's on their list of possibilities. I was going to get his email address and, and I didn't want to disrupt his presentation and this this has its advantages and, and disadvantages so I'm, I'm not I'm actually not selling this I don't have no intention to get a job or anything like that I just want to to, to give them some ideas because ultimately he has said that they're doing the 15c again on the 12c platform yes so if they can do one new model on that 12c platform they can do this on the 12c platform too yeah and something that's hopeful is is that when they did this new platform they in theory went went in and looked at the coding and so they actually understand the models now how they work as opposed to running just an emulation of the original code the, for a while, the problem that, that everyone had is, is that uh, they didn't really understand all of the BCD algorithms and whatnot, math algorithms, and, and so they were running, basically the, all the new versions were just emulations of the old code you know, on new hardware. And now they're actually, they're, they're actually digging in and understanding some of the code. So there's, there's, there's hope, because doing some of this stuff requires you to understand, like on the 21S, the statistics distribution so you could add it in. Yeah? Yeah, you might hear from Cyril tomorrow where, where he's going to tell us that they they clearly do not understand the 15C source code. Right. They, nobody's got the documentation anywhere. So they, you know, it was a, it was an exploration to find the, the changes that they were able to make, but they can't make the changes they like because nobody knows what the source code is. But they are making bug fixes. Yeah. Oh. They told us point blank, oh, we can't do that because we don't know where that is in the source. They, I gr agree. I'm not going to argue with, uh, I don't, don't disagree at all. It, they do not completely understand the, the Voyager code. That, that was lost to posterity, so to speak. Okay. Wrong key. So, by the way, an even less likely what if, okay, uh, is this one changes the keyboard and whatnot but there's there's plenty of keys on here and, and plenty of display length for a, for a one line 34 if you wanted to do something like that uh, and again uh, I'm a fan of this form factor I find it much easier to use uh, so I look at that but I go back to when can I order one of these? If I if I can if if you guys made one, I'd buy one. Okay, that's it.